Hello and welcome to this Binance tutorial series. This is lesson 3 in our series and today we are going to be learning how to trade peer-to-peer -peer on Binance in Nigeria. There are two ways into depositing and withdrawing money into Binance. The first way is the bank transfer method and the peer-to-peer -peer method. Because of the cryptocurrency ban in Nigeria, bank transfer method no longer work on Binance. So the only way to deposit and withdraw money in Binance in Nigeria is through the P2P method, which is also known as peer-to-peer -peer or person-to-person, -person, where Binance connects you to someone who wants to sell or buy a cryptocurrency. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to trade in the peer-to-peer -peer platform of Binance. To get to the P2P platform of Binance, once you log into your Binance on the app, on the home page, you see the P2P trading option. You click on that and that will take you to the peer-to-peer -peer platform. The other way you can get to this platform is from your wallet. Once you go to your wallet and click on your P2P wallet, you can either click buy or sell and it will take you to the P2P platform. So I will just click on buy. Now that we are on the P2P platform, there are two things you do on this P2P platform. You either buy or sell. So if you want to deposit money in your Binance wallet, you come to the buy option and you select the person you want to trade with and buy cryptocurrency from them. At the top, you can see the list of cryptocurrencies you can buy in Nigeria on Binance. We can see USDT, which is a stable coin, BTC, BUSD, BNB, which is the Binance cryptocurrency, ETH, which is Ethereum, NGN, and DEI. There's something I also need to show you before we go ahead with the buying and selling on the P2P platform. At the top right corner of my screen, you can see the NGN, which is my currency. You can come at the top there and change the currency with which you want to use to trade on Binance. Since I'm in Nigeria, my currency is in NGN, which is Naira. You can change it to Euro, but if you're in Nigeria, it is advisable you trade with NGN because those are the that is the currency that is used in Nigeria. If you want to sell on Binance, people are buying with Naira. And if you want to buy, the person you are buying from wants Naira from you. So your currency is NGN. If you NGN in Nigeria. One other thing you need to know is that there are two modes in the P2P platform: the order mode and the advertisement mode. Right now, I'm on the advertisement mode where I can create my own ad. But by default, Binance will take you to the um, other mode so I can come to my profile from the other from the advertisement mode I'll just click I've just clicked on my profile and this is my profile at the bottom you can see switch to other mode if I click that it will take me to other mode where I can only buy from people that have created orders or sell to people that have created orders so if I want to create my own advert like these people have done here to buy or sell I can just come to the top right corner click on the three dots and I'll now switch to the other mode where I can where I can display my own advertisement. I can switch to the advertisement mode where I can display my own advertisement. So now I can come here and click on at the bottom of my screen. You can see home, orders, ads, and profile. So the home is showing the advert of people that want to sell and people that want to buy. So from here I can just click on buy or sell and click the currency I want to buy or sell and just go ahead with the transaction or I can come and click on add at the bottom of my screen and create my own ad for what I want to sell or what I want to buy but before we go into this let's just look at how we can buy from people that have created orders already so to buy currencies on the cryptocurrency p2p platform you come to the buy option and you will click on the currency you want to buy most people usually buy USDT, which is the stable coin. And as you can see, these are the advert of those who want to sell USDT. If I click on BTC, these are the advert of those who want to sell BTC on Binance. So if you want to buy BTC, you will come to these people and they will sell to you. If you want to buy BNB, these are the advert of those that want to sell BNB. So I'll be using USDT for this tutorial. So these are the advert of those that want to sell USDT. There are different things you need to note when trading on the P2P platform on Binance. We are in Nigeria and you have to be careful of scammers. If you trade right on Binance, the rate at which they can scam you is very low. Binance is approximately very safe. 
if you do it right, if you do it the right way. Listen carefully and I'll show you how to do it rightly so that you can hardly be scammed when you are trading on the P2P platform on Binance. So for example, first of all, take note of the exchange rate. These are the Naira exchange rates on Binance and Binance always puts the best exchange rate as the number one. So the number one advert you always see on the P2P platform is the best exchange rate. If we go down, you will see how the exchange rate begins to increase. So as we scroll down, you can see that the exchange rate is increasing and keeps increasing and keeps increasing. But as we scroll up, you see that the exchange rate reduces. The first person is the person that has the lowest exchange rate that, has, that will sell for you at the best price. But that's not the only thing you look out for. At the right of the screen, the number of trades that person has traded is written. For the first person, he has traded 986 trades on Binance, so that's actually a lot. The next person has traded 1055 trades, so you must be an experienced person. The next person has traded only 55 trades, so you take note of that also. But that's not the only thing you take note of. You can see the percentage that is written there after the number of trades. That per percentage means the number, the percentage of success that person has. The lower the percentage, the lower the success rate of that person when trading. So you want to trade with somebody that has a very high success rate. It means that person has a very low chance of scamming you or a very low chance of not going through with the trade. For example, the first person has 74.75 percentage on Binance. You can see the third person has 100%. That means for this 55 trade that this person has traded, all of them were successful 100%. The next person has 685 trade and those 685 trade went through successfully. There were no issues, there were no cancelled trade, there were no disputes or anything. All his trades have been successful. You can see the next person too that has traded 85 times has 100%. That means all his trades are 100% successful. There were no issue, no argument. The next person that has traded 33 times also has a 100% rate. So that's something you look out for. Somebody that has a very low percentage rate, it is risky to trade with those kind of people. That means those people have had a lot of issues with their trades in the past. But for 74, 74 is not also really bad. But you want to trade with people that have 100% or within the 90 percentage. You can see most of these people have 100%. This person has 93. This person is safe to trade with. So that the next person also has 93. The next has 92. The next has 91. So you can see that those rates are actually good. So first of all, you look at the exchange rate. Is the exchange rate high or low? If the exchange rate is good, you look at the number of trades that person has traded to know how experienced that person is. Then you look at the percentage successful rate of his trade. If it's good, then you can trade with the person. So the next thing you need to look out for when you want to buy also is the limit they are willing to offer. That is what they have that they want to sell. And if you can look at the first person, his limit is 1000 to 2000 so the usdt that this person has to sell is between 1000 and 2000 so if you want to buy cryptocurrency if you want to buy usdt from this person it's either you are buying between 1000 or 2000 the next person also is 1000 and 2000 you can see the number three person the third person that his name is danny tunes he wants to sell between 103650 naira to 103700 77.09 Naira. So this person now, if you want to buy from him, you have to be willing to buy between 103,655 to 103,777. You cannot buy anything less than that or anything more than that. The next person, which is Juela, you can only buy between 900 and you can only buy between 97,300 to 97,560. So you have to look at the limit so you will know if you want to buy let's say you want to buy 5000 naira usdt you cannot buy from the first two persons even if their exchange rate is low what they are willing to offer is not up to what you want to buy so you have to come and sell to some you have to come and buy from somebody that has what you want to sell if you want to buy 5000 you cannot buy from this person that his lowest limit is 103000 naira you have to come and look for somebody that has the kind of price that you want to buy Okay, as we can see, this person that his name is Thames wants to sell between 5,000 and 51,000. So, if you want to buy 5,000, you can buy from this person. His limit is the lowest you can buy from him is 5,000, and the highest you can buy 
is 51,412. So that's what you need. That's something else you need to look out for. The limit. You can easily do all this by using the filter that is at the top right corner. You can see this thing that looks like a funnel. That is the filter. Let's click it and see what we can do with it. So I have clicked the filter and at the filter you can see amount, payment and only show ads for merchants. What does all this mean? So the amount is the amount of cryptocurrency you want to buy. So like I said earlier, let's say you want to buy USDT of 5000 Naira. So I add for the amount, you now come and click 5000 Naira. If 5000 is what you want to invest, you type 5000 Naira. Then you now click, how do you want to pay? Do you want to pay by bank transfer? Do you want to pay by cheaper cash? Do you want to pay by mobile top up, cash deposit and all that? The um, most popular method is the bank transfer method. So the bank transfer method is how we want to pay. So we'll click on bank transfer. Then after the bank transfer method, you now see what is written there. Only show ad from merchants. What does this mean? Merchants are people that have been extra verified by Binance and they are trusted. So to become a merchant on Binance, you have to sub, you have to go through more verification process to show that you're a trusted person that can be traded with. And these merchants have a very low risk of scamming you on Binance. So that is what that merchant means. For those that are merchants, Binance have verified them and Binance can now tell you that, okay, these people are trusted and you can trade with them. So if you want to show ads for um, from merchants only, you click on this knob and once it's clicked, the ads that will be shown are from people that have been um, verified as merchants on Binance already. So after doing all this filter, we've put the amount we want to buy, 5,000 Naira, payment method, how we want to pay is bank transfer, I want to see ads from merchants only. Um, I don't think that is really important for the merchant thing, but if you are scared and you don't want to be scammed, you want a very high success rate, you can click on merchant. After doing that, you type yes, you click on yes. And as you can see, all the adverts we can, we can see here are people that are merchants. How do you know they are merchants? You can see this yellow thing in front of their name with that mark. That means um, Binance has verified them as merchants. And all the ads we can see here are ads that can sell for 5,000. Like the first one, the lower limit is 5,000 and the higher limit is 9,000. The next person, the lower limit is 3,000 but the higher limit is 43,000. That means we can buy 5,000 from there. So that is how you use the filter and remember you check the percentage successful rate for of the person and you check the number of trade that person have trade to know how experienced the person is so those are the things you need to look out for when buying on binance to be sure that you are trading with the right person we can come back to the filter and unmark this only show ads for merchants then we'll be able to see ads from everybody you can see that the merchants thing has gone away so we can see ads from everybody both merchants and non-merchants so you can see this person gold exchange is a merchant but this god is able god is capable is not a merchant so this this has i've just gone through all the things you need to look out for before clicking from the person you want to buy from so let's go ahead and click from somebody who wants to buy from so we have done our filter we have put five thousand we have put we have put five thousand as the amount we want to buy we have put bank transfer as our payment method so now the first person like i said is always the person that has the lowest exchange rate so we'll just click the first person we'll click on buy he has a good rate percentage rate 93 so here now we'll now put the amount we want to buy from this person so what we want to buy is 5000 his lowest limit is 1000 we want to buy 5000 so if we buy 5000 naira um, USDT from this person. The quantity of USDT we will get is 9.71 USDT. Can you see that? So 5,000 Naira will give you 9.7 USDT when you are trading with this person because of its exchange rate. Then another thing you need to look out for like this is to read their terms and condition. So his terms and condition says you see the term, terms and condition at the bottom. His terms is I am actively online, ready to trade. If I don't pay in five minutes time, then please call this number. So when, if I click on buy USDT now, I will actually have to 
go ahead with the trade but since i'm not going to trade i don't want to trade with this person i'm just doing a tutorial i will not click buy usdt but when you are trading you have to always read the terms and conditions if you read the terms and conditions of some people they write very silly things and you don't want to trade with those kind of people that write very silly things some people will tell you things like um they will remove some amount of money or they will tell you things like um you should do this or do that that are against the terms and condition of binance please always read the terms and condition of somebody before you trade with them let's look at other example of terms and condition with other people so we can see from this person now because of his exchange rate if i want to buy 5000 naira usdt from him what i will get is 9.71 let's look at somebody that has a higher exchange rate so um let's look at um this person that his exchange rate is 515.30 so let's buy from him so let's say we want to buy the same 5000 there what we'll get from him is 9.70 the last person was 9.71 so you see what the exchange rate does then let's look at his terms and condition okay his terms is that i am online proceed okay he doesn't have much in his terms and condition if we come to this cell that's where you will see a lot of ridiculous terms and conditions so let's look at the terms and condition of this first person uh -huh. you can see the terms and condition of this person it says i charge 100 naira transfer fee that's why you need to read the terms and condition because some people actually put crazy things in the terms and condition that sometimes go against the binance rules and regulation and if you trade with those kind of people they are most likely to scam you so you have to be careful when trading in peer-to-peer -peer, you read the terms and condition okay this person said please i have not replied and um, please if i have not replied within 20 seconds only call me on whatsapp on okay so this person is not charging 100 naira transfer fee so that's just to show you um terms and condition you need to look out for that when you want to trade on binance so yeah okay we can see the terms and condition of this person is very long thanks for opening a trade with me sam i'm here kindly make your payment then i'll release coin asap i receive your payment my bank is good money yes it's a you can see so you have to go through all these terms and condition of this person so you don't go and trade with somebody that has a very ridiculous terms and condition he said please do not use any crypto related word in the description while making payments okay this is very important because of the cryptocurrency ban in nigeria when you are doing peer-to-peer -peer on binance and you want to transfer somebody when you are doing peer-to-peer -peer trading on binance and you want to transfer money to somebody at the point where in the description in the money transfer where they will ask you to make a description of the payment it is very important not to put any crypto related word because the banks have been banned from doing cryptocurrency transactions so if you want to transfer money to somebody on binance and you now put for the description of the payment you now put payment for cryptocurrency or payment for bitcoin because cryptocurrency have been banned once the bank sees that payment for cryptocurrency or payment for bitcoin or any cryptocurrency name once they see it they can ban your account a lot of people's accounts have been banned for trading cryptocurrency because somebody was trying to send them money or they were trying to send somebody for somebody and the description had carried a cryptocurrency name so please when you're trading on binance and you want to send money in nigeria to somebody on the binance platform please in the description of the payment do not put any crypto related word it is very important so that the bank doesn't flag your account that you are trading cryptocurrency that have been banned by the government so your bank account is not frozen and you now have to go and deal with the efcc or the bank authority so you need to actually take note of that it is very important do not put cryptocurrency in the crypt description like this person have said in his um terms and condition please do not use any crypto related words in the description while making payments that is very important so it is good to read the terms and condition before trading and even if the person doesn't put that in their terms and condition it is very important for everybody trading on binance so that is all about buying you can come and create ad here like i said but to post a buy ad you need to have um a verification so let's say i try to post an ad now you will see what they will tell me
a buy ad take notice when you want to post a buy ad they will tell you this when you want to post a buy ad on binance you will see something like this you cannot post any ad now why let's learn more and know why to optimize p2p trading experience you need to meet certain conditions to publish an advertisement you can also apply to become a merchant or place an ad or place an order directly so to post ad you need to be a merchant let's learn more so you can see binance p2p add new requirements to posting advertisement fellow financial so you have to read all this these are the requirement to post a buy ad on binance you need to be verified by binance users must meet all the following requirements registration time 30 days so you must have registered more than 30 days complete identity verification and sms authentication number of completed p2p order has to be more than 20 30 days p2p order completion rate of 80 percent number of unique trading needs to be um not number of unique trading counterparts needs to be greater than 10 so these are all the requirements you need to meet to post a buy ad on binance but to post a sell ad you don't actually need all that you can just i can post the sell ad and i'll not have to go through all that so you can see i can post the sell ad and i'll be fine but to post a buy ad you need to fulfill some requirements so that binance is trying to make the platform very safe so that people don't get scammed that's why they have to go through all these requirements for the buy ad but if you are posting a sell ad you already have the cryptocurrency so binance trust you it's the other person that binance doesn't trust but if you are posting a buy ad you want to buy cryptocurrency binance doesn't really trust you because you are a you are, you are like a third party so you have to be verified to be able to post a buy ad so i've been talking about buy 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 if you want to deposit in your um binance account in your binance wallet you have to come to this buy and click the click the currency you want to buy usually by usdt so let's talk about sell now so what is this sell all about on binance this is my statement of people that want to sell here now i don't want to confuse you you need to listen carefully this advertisement is for people that have nera but they want cryptocurrencies so these people here now they are creating adverts that they want to buy your cryptocurrencies from you so if you have bought cryptocurrency on binance and you have traded with it you have made the money you want to make and you now have cryptocurrency to sell you want to cash out you want to take your money out of binance you will come to this sell ad and you will see people that are willing to buy that cryptocurrency from you so that is what this sell ad platform is all about so you can now come and click from one of these people that want to buy from you and sell your cryptocurrency to them so after you have bought your cryptocurrency from here and you have traded with it you have made your profit now you now want to sell it off you will now come to sell and you now see advert of people that are willing to buy from you and you want to sell to them so the same way what we did earlier you check the number of trades they have the success rate of their trades the first person we can see is 88.17 the first person is always the person that has the best trade for when it comes to buy or sell the number one trade the number one person on the advert is always the person that is offering the best rate so if you sell to this first person you will get more money for the currency you want to sell as you go down the rate begins to reduce the lower you go as you can see as you scroll down the rate begins to reduce but the higher you come the higher the rate and the more money you get so for example let's say to this first person now we want to sell 10 usdt to him he wants to buy between 1000 and 5000 and that 5000 is like about um 9 usdt so let's say we want to sell 9 usdt to this first person we'll come here and the quantity cryptocurrency we want to sell to him is 9 usdt if we sell 9 usdt to this person quantity 9 the amount we will get from him is 4622.84 according to his rates so let's come and sell with somebody with a lower rate let's click this person with the rates 512 if we want to sell the same 9 usdt to this person 
what we'll get is 4,608 Naira. But if we want to sell to the number one person on the list that his own um, rate is 513.58 and we want to sell 9 USDT to him, what we'll get is 4,622.22 Naira. So you can see how the exchange rate affects that. So the first person on the list is always the person that has the best rate. You also have to look at his um, conversion success rate. The success rate of the first person is 97.67, which is very high. And he has traded 252 times. And what he wants to sell is between 1,000. What he wants to buy from you, the cryptocurrency he wants to buy from you, should be between 1,000 Naira and 15,000 Naira. So you check for all that and you can sell to this person. If you have cryptocurrency on Binance, you can come and sell it to this person. They all have um, Naira and they are willing to sell from you. You can also come and use the filter and filter the amount of people you want to see. You can choose the payment rate. Let's say you want you don't want bank transfer. You want them to pay with um, cheaper cash. So let's say you want them to pay with cheaper cash. So you click on cheaper cash and you click you filter it you click on yes to filter it then okay so now we can see cheaper cash among the option so all these people are willing to buy your cryptocurrency from you with either bank transfer or cheaper cash this plan bank transfer cheaper cash mobile top up so that's how you use the filter also for this so that's how you trade cryptocurrency on binance if you want to sell for this first person now you come and click the asset you want to sell so let's say you have you want to sell usdt for him now usdt so you now click the payment method how you want him to pay this is my own payment method which is bank transfer you can add payment method at the bottom here as you can see you can add payment method but um i don't want to do that number it's very easy to add just click and you add your payment method how you want to be paid and the person will pay you to that account that you have added so um, let me click my payment method as this my bank transfer so i have clicked my payment method and once i click sell it's not clicking on sell now because i have insu insufficient balance as you can see so you click sell and it will be able to sell so as you can see there is written i have insufficient balance please deposit more funds so if i have sufficient balance i will have been able to trade with this person so don't forget to look at the terms and condition this person's terms is that let's have a successful trade together he charged 10 naira for any trade below 50 dollars so you have to look at the terms if you are willing to go with this you can sell to him but if you are not willing to go with these charges don't sell to him come and look for somebody else you want to um, trade with Look for somebody else you want to trade with always look at their bank and always look at their terms and condition look at this person says drop your um cheaper cash tag or kuda bank details this is a nigerian trade so you need to know that this person is only trading with kuda bank if you're not trading on kuda he's not willing to trade with you so like i said earlier always take note of the terms and condition of the people before you open a trade with them so we can see the terms and condition of world 25 his terms and condition is that please note 10 naira charge applies and it covers for binance charges transfer charges vat stamp duty charge and service fee so you have to check this um, terms and condition if you are not willing to go with this please don't trade with them so this is why it is very important to read the terms before opening the trade if you click sell usdc to this person now without reading these terms and conditions when he executes these terms you will now see that he did not pay you the complete money and you will now be protesting however you are protesting because you did not read his terms and condition he even said here that if it is inconvenient for you please do not open trade as we do not cancel trade kindly give a positive feedback so this is why it is important to read terms before opening trade so it is very simple if you are willing to go with this you open trade with him and you trade with him so there are some people that have very ridiculous terms and conditions for example if someone wants to scam you when you want to sell your cryptocurrency to them 
they will come and tell you which is against the binance terms and condition they will tell you to send the coin first before they make payments anybody that tells you to send your cryptocurrency before making bank transfer payment to you on binance is a scammer so if you have cryptocurrency you have traded and you have made money and you want to sell your cryptocurrency on binance and somebody tells you that you should send the coins to him on binance before he makes the bank transfer to you that person is a scammer and that is even against the terms and condition of binance in fact before you approve the trade binance will ask you if that person has sent you the bank transfer binance will ask you are you sure you have received the bank transfer from this person before you can release the coins to the person but anybody asking you to release coins before sending you a bank transfer is a scammer do not trade with that kind of person if you see it in their terms and condition do not accept so that is the very easy ways to buy and sell on binance you can come and check from this advert here if you want to deposit money if you want to buy um, cryptocurrency you want to buy usdt you come and buy if you have cryptocurrency on your binance wallet and you want to sell it you come here and click on these adverts of people that want to buy from you and you sell to them and if you want to sell also you can come and create your own advert if you create a sell advert you have cryptocurrency and you create post an ad that you want to sell cryptocurrency you pick the asset you want to sell if it's usdt or btc and you click um with what fiat how do you want to be paid if you want to be paid in naira you click naira then you pick you pick your um, price type if it's fixed or floating fixed means that the amount at which you set it that's the amount to be floating is the um market rate as the currency is changing your um amount will be changing that is what floating means so if bitcoin drops the amount the price type will drop but for this fixed the amount of crypto of btc at that point at which you open the uh, um, at which you open the advert that is the price it will be fixed at or well, if you click for floating for btc at the point where the person wants to trade with you the amount of btc at that point currently is the amount you are going to sell to the person but if you click fixed the amount of cryptocurrency now that it is that is the amount you are going to sell to the person so you just click next then you put your total trading um, amount the number of btc you want to sell i don't have btc in my account that's why it's showing that then you put your order limit the amount you want to sell if it's between five thousand and seventy five thousand or between ten thousand and two hundred thousand then you put your payment method this is my payment my payment method is bank transfer then you put your payment time limit the limit the person has to make the bank transfer to you once i click on next now my advert is going to show it's going to be displayed among this advert in the buy in this buy advert here so anybody that wants to buy btc my advert is going to be shown in this buy advert here anybody that wants to buy btc will come and click on my advert and buy from me or click on your advert and buy from you so yeah that's how it works so finally after having a successful p2p transaction and you have transferred the money to the person and the person has sent the coin to you when someone sends a coin to you on the p2p trading after your p2p trade the coins is going to go to your p2p wallet so after a successful trade and someone sends let's say usdt to you and you pay the person in naira that usdt is going to go to your p2p wallet and you are going to see that on that wallet you go to wallet on binance you see this is wallet the last option at the bottom here is wallet you go to wallet and you see your different wallet so under this your p2p wallet that fund is going to be there in your p2p wallet not your spot wallet not your margin wallet or your future wallet it's going to be in your p2p wallet and in this p2p wallet the only thing you can do with it is either to sell it or to transfer it so you can when money is in your p2p wallet you can either sell that money sell it off 
or transfer it and use it to trade. So after depositing money and the money is now in your P2P wallet and you now want to trade with it, as you can see trades at the middle, if you want to trade with it, you cannot trade with money in your P2P wallet. So let me try and transfer some money from my spot wallet to my P2P wallet and show you an example of what I'm talking about. So I'll just go to my spot wallet and I'll transfer some things from my USDT balance. So I want to transfer. I want to transfer from my spot wallet to my P2P wallet. What I want to transfer is USDT maximum. So um, this is what I have in my. This is the amount of USDT I have in my spot wallet. I want to transfer it to my P2P wallet. So you have successfully transferred your assets to your P2P wallet. So I will now go to my P2P wallet now so go to p go to my wallet and go to p2p so as you can see i now have some money from my pit for my spot wallet i have transferred it to p2p so i now have some money in my p2p wallet now so now if this money in your p2p wallet if you want to use it to trade you cannot trade with it as it is in your p2p wallet you have to transfer it to your spot wallet so that is what this transfer this transfer you can see at the middle of my screen that's what it's all about so after trading after having a p2p trade the money will come to your p2p wallet but to use it and trade in your spot trade market you will come to your wallet go to your p2p wallet click on transfer so you can either send to somebody else on binance or you can transfer to yourself so this transfer is in between your own account as it, as it is written here so you click on transfer so from p2p wallet to spot wallet and then you click on the currency you want to transfer i want to transfer usdt so i'll click usdt you can come here and search usdt so you can see it i'll click and i'll put maximum so this is the total amount of usdt i have and i'll transfer it to my spot wallet so there's no more this money is no longer in my p2p wallet now i have refresh and you can see my p2p wallet is now empty and i can now go to my spot wallet and you can see the usdt i have this is the usdt here this is the usdt i transferred from my p2p wallet to my spot wallet i can now come to trade come to spot trade so I can now use that USDT to trade in my in the spot trading on Binance. So that's what you do after trading on P2P. The money goes to your P2P wallet. You cannot use it to trade in that P2P wallet. You have to transfer it to your spot wallet. After transferring to your spot wallet, it can, it will now come to your spot wallet. Then you can now go to spot trades and use it to trade on Binance. So um, that's it about how to trade P2P in Nigeria on Binance. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section below. I will do well to respond to them. Subscribe to this channel so you will not miss our next update on our Binance tutorial series. In the next series, I'm going to be showing you the strategies of how I trade in the spot wallet, how to trade and how to make money on Binance in the spot wallet, which is the general wallet most people use. You can also use the futures wallet but we'll cover that in another tutorial in our next tutorial we're going to be looking at the sports trading so we'll see you in the next tutorial cheers